Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, just wanted to go over a couple of new releases and a little bit of a deal. Um, uh, I think it was Mr. D on YouTube. Uh, he reached out to me saying, hey Mr. V, the new uh, uh, reverse proof Libertad for 2018 came out. It's $199. So um, in the past, they were usually uh, spiking the prices up for this one here at $199. It would go to 250 300 they would keep raising the price but that was for the first year and the second year so now you know it's kind of lost its fanfare and the hype is not as as there as much but um they do have like the set number one set number two like the coa and they uh i think it's an exclusive set so um the, the only app max is going to be able to offer you the coa with number one and number two and so forth i think they have um number three all the way to number 10 right and they also have some graded ones too um i don't know if any of you are collecting these but at one point in time it was super hot right so um if you're still, still collecting them this is the amount that you're paying roughly and um think um the value has retained you know decently not not exactly because i remember there was one year it was a very low mintage and they graded these coins and charged a lot of money for them so it's not um down significant from what i saw last time but uh uh just wanted to mention that uh let you guys know that this is up for sale on atmex right now and i'll leave a link down below for this page okay now the other one is, I'm um, sure many of you are familiar with um, the U.S. Mint. You know, well, let me see if I can move this over like that and like this. Okay, so um, the U.S. Mint usually sells these quarter, you know, silver proof set quarters uh, every year. I'm sure if many of you are familiar with the ATB coins, and for 2018 they got these in the back there. Um, but you also get this one here with the Sacagawea, Jefferson Nickel. You get the dime, penny, half dollar. I forget what this is here. I think that's just the logo for the for the case. So you get five coins here and you get five coins there. For fifty dollars, right? You get ten coins each. So um, what uh, the U.S. Mint decided to do is do a reverse proof uh, of this one, right? Uh, some kind of anniversary. It's um. So uh, it doesn't say. Oh yeah, fiftieth anniversary, and it is the San Francisco Mint first producing proof coins. So before, like, if you look at these, I think they were minted. Uh, no, it's still okay. It says S. Um, I think this is a fiftieth first producing proof coins. You know what? I'm not exactly sure what that means. You know, it says first producing proof coins, but you know, it is a first reverse proof. So I think that's what they mean. Um, two lengths of a reverse proof set. So let's take a look at the pictures here. Uh, can we blow it up? Not, I mean, we can't really see it well, but um, I think the Sacagawea, I don't think they ever made a, a proof, a uh, reverse proof in Sacagawea. So like, some of these coins are going to be a first, and people are going to want these really bad. And based on what I've uh, known so far, I don't think uh, Sacagawea ever had a reverse proof coin. So, um, yeah, if you guys know anything about that, let me know down below. Uh, you know, I think the Sacagawea fans are going to really want this, if for, for sure, which I think it is, that this is the first first ever um proof reverse proof Sacagawea coin so like i'm sure a lot of people are going to want this graded they want to get they're going to want the first strike or first release and all that nonsense with the grading right people still love that stuff so um they are minting 200,000 sets of these so it is a lot now compared to um let's take a look at the 2018 proof set where did it go? Here it is. Okay. Uh, 2018 proof set. Um, 
there is no limit limit so you can keep buying it whenever you want okay so that's the big difference there's a cap on on these coins and not on the uh, original ones that are not reverse proof they're just regular proof now the reason why I'm bringing this set up is because there's a, a good potential a good probability that these will be flippable okay uh, yeah, it's a lot of a uh, lot of mintage. Two hundred thousand is a lot, but for U.S. mint stuff, sometimes when the demand is so high that even at a seventy-five thousand, hundred fifty thousand, or even two hundred thousand, sometimes they just do well on the secondary market, and they do have a limit, household order limit of ten, and maybe this is done like this so that the dealers can't come in and swoop, swoop up all of them, right? Uh, if you guys remember the the, the San Francisco S proof uh, gift set or something like that, congratulations gift set. They had seventy five thousand sets of those, and it sold out in like two three minutes because they didn't put a household limit uh, for those. Uh, who would have thought that would have happened, right? But that was a nice flip in in regards to the price. I think it was like fifty uh, same price fifty four ninety five and people were buying it up for like 150 bucks so uh, whoever bought a lot of those did really well I missed out on that one but uh, this one might do decently not as good as the um, the congratulations set but if this is 5495 I'm thinking it'll it'll probably sell for about a hundred if it sells out you know uh, um, within the day or two uh, I'm not exactly sure how fast it's going to sell out, but uh, people are going to want these for grading purposes and collection purposes, all kinds of stuff. So if the household order limit stays at 10, um, that means that there is demand. Now, uh, I didn't verify with other dealers. Usually when something like this comes out, dealers actually will pay um, people like us for you know a little extra money. To send it to them so they could send it into grading but I haven't heard from any dealers doing that um, lately so well, remains to be seen all right so uh, what are your thoughts on the San Francisco mint uh, reverse proof set uh, this is the first one first ever reverse proof set for this series okay all right so let's move on to some uh, bullion we got a roll of silver eagles from SD Bullion 366.72. Let me just refresh to see if the price updated. Yeah, it's still the same. Uh, no e bucks, eBay bucks, or anything like that. But uh, if you do the 2% cash back, you get a, a little bit of savings here 366.72 times your 2% cash back on your credit card comes out to 360 uh, $359.40 39 cents so not too bad you know usually we see silver eagles over 370 380 somewhere around there so it's a little bit of a savings uh, for this uh, listing here I'll leave a link down below for for this one here too and then we also have a roll of uh, philharmonics which um, I think it lost a lot of popularity at one point in time it was popular but nobody really talks about this one anymore um, it is a shiny surface uh, on the edge and it's a quality bullion you know coin and everything but nobody really gets into this stuff and I don't even know if anybody collects them like silver eagles or maple leaves but it is 345.2 buck 40 over spot if you do the 2% cash back again um, you're gonna save a little bit more um, let's see so it's 338 uh, 30 so you save another five bucks or so yeah five six dollars on this roll all right so that's what I have for you today uh, if you guys have any comments or questions uh, just let me know down below uh, if you're brand new to the channel hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button if you found the video useful all right, so again, the links are down below for all the listings that I've mentioned. Oh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention, uh, going back to this uh, reverse proof set, it is going to be released on July 23rd, right here, noon Eastern Standard Time, okay? So if you want to hop on here and get it, 
whether you want five or ten it's probably going to be war in the beginning at noon but uh, i'll probably taper off and if it doesn't like sell out you know if it's not as big as we expect it then you'll be able to buy a little bit later but uh in the beginning expect it to be a war where you know the page is going to be crashing or you have to hit f5 or refresh you know refresh the page and make sure you are logged into your account too okay so that you'll be able to pick up the set all right thanks for watching guys